I stepped into Arsenal Football Club and it was in tatters. Failure after failure, flop after flop and the good times seemed far off. But we fought. We never gave up. And here we are, one moment away from taking our rightful place at the very top of the Premier League. So Quackers, how are you all feeling, pal? We're feeling good. The players, they've trained well, they know what they have to do. 22 years to the day where we beat a red-wearing Merseyside team. We're going up there again, a team wearing blue, and we're gonna do it again. We're gonna beat Everton the same way we beat Liverpool to win the Prem. 15 years is too long a wait for a club like us, and it's even longer than that, 17 years. No more. All of our half-graft ends here. Yes, boys and girls, here we are. One moment, one point, and one game away from being crowned the best team in England. Finally putting Arsenal at the pinnacle. When I joined this team, I said it. I said A1 since day one. I promised greatness. I promise to bring back what was rightfully ours. We aren't a meme led by AFTV any longer. We're done with it. We've, we're fed up with it. And here we are, one moment away from glory. I've gone with the youth. Martinelli, Saka, they're in. Serginho Desk on the right, he is in. Patty B. Bamford. 22 goals, 16 assists. He is in. We have the players to do it. Now it's time for the boys to live up their potential. Early on, you could see the nerves. You could see the jitters. We had to get out. Sigurdsson playing on the wing. A youngster in the hole probably was a dangerous move by Everton, but you know. Sigurdsson seemed to be on his best behaviour at least. Again, driving at our defence. That man looked like he just smelt an ice cream shot. And thankfully, A.A. Ron Ramsdale did what he has done season after season. Winter, summer, autumn, spring. Don't worry, I have not suddenly forgotten. He made saves like that one. Huge save from just two yards away. He dives to his right and picks it off the line. And finally, in the 20th minute, we got some breathing room. We got some possession. And we just looked shaky. We didn't look up for it. Saka now, the star boy driving forward. Erdegaard finds a beautiful whip to Martinelli. He just has to pick... He just has to pick out the Smiths run, but he just can't do it. And Everton march on forward again. Through on goal. <sighs> Sighs of relief braved all around the Emirates. But surely now, breath held this is your moment. And Saka can't apply the finish. We'd keep coming forward with Martinelli. But if the finish has tame as our performance so far, it just doesn't look like it's going to be our day. Man City already won up at this moment against Aston Villa. 58 minutes in. The clock is ticking on Arsenal's season. We need a goal and the only team looking up for it, the only team looking likely, are certainly the boys from Merseyside. But here we go. Thomas Partey with a delicious ball. Players in acres. Two players to pick out. Bamfi! Nope. Jordan Pickford with a huge save. We keep coming forward. Erdegaard on his left. We nay not get the goal yet, but we look up for it. We look lively. We look... Like we're finally getting those jitters out. Finally getting the nerves out. It's Bamford again. It's Pickford again. The battle for the English number one spot is surely going down to the wire as much as the Premier League title races. Ramsdale and Pickford put in absolutely outstanding performances. But Bamford loses it. We win it quickly back with Thomas Pye. He finds Bamford. Aubameyang! 
Alabama Bloodshot Yang gets the goal. The man we rid of the captain's armband. The man I tried to sell stands up when it matters. Shows why we kept him around. All I can say to you, my viewers, is thank you. We wanted rid. You said not a chance, Quackers. And the man has stood tall and made Merseyside fall. 82 minutes though. We can't be counting our chickens. They certainly haven't hatched. We won't be selling them for a cheap to a dairy farmer just yet. 83 minutes now. Driving forward. We're in space. Bamford and Acres. A Bamyang and Acres. The ex-captain looks like a man possessed. He looks like a school child has been told there's a Mr. Whippy coming if he can bag a goal. He looks like me when I'm told I can get an extra portion of chips if I keep a clean sheet, to be honest. This man is on it. Everton, 91 minutes left. 30 seconds left. Throwing in our half. All we have to do is hold on to the ball. Whipped out to Tierney. Whistle goes. And boys and girls, there it is. Arsenal Football Club, Premier League champions, 2021 to 2022. 16 years almost. Maybe more. I'm bad at maths, even though I'm a literal maths teacher. Since our last Premier League title. Even longer. 32 years since we won it at Merseyside. Since we won the first division with a late goal against Liverpool. We do it again. Besting Everton. We are the champions of Europe. Saka won't be lifting the trophy because I subbed him off and EA are incredibly, incredibly lazy. And don't make your club captain lift the trophy. They just make whoever's the captain at the time lift the trophy. So, good job EA. But I ain't going to lie. This ain't it. This ain't it. I said I'd get Arsenal to the tip at the top. We're halfway up. I said it before and I'll say it again. Whilst the rest of the Prem are, are trying their best to climb the mountain. They've got their Mongolian tour guides. They've got their all of their hiking equipment. I'm taking lunge after six foot lunge. Walking straight up Everest so I can plant my flag. And that flag ain't just going to be planted on England. That flag is being planted across the whole of Europe. So this is a message right now. Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, I'd say Barcelona, but you know. Eh. PSG. We're coming. We're on our way. So get ready. Because believe me, this ain't the team you're going to be seeing next year. We're only going to get stronger from here. For now, we got a convo with the manager to see how he feels about winning it. I think I'll take this one. No questions are needed. You laughed at me. My hair got shaved. You said I was a bull fraud. You said I wasn't even worth being called a Lego head fraud. You said I was Mattel zone. You said I was those little weird build blo builder blocks that kids have. You might have called me Play-Doh. Because I was getting moulded into, into the worst thing to happen to Arsenal since William Gallas. But here I stand, champions of England. Now I'm off to celebrate with my team. Goodbye. Told you also. Peace. Sayonara. Vamos. Boys and girls, as you can see, we didn't even need to win in the end. Aston Villa, you're going to see it in the right hand corner, did us a favour. They got the point against City. They got a late equaliser. They won us the league. We're going to let you see now. How the players have developed. Why? Because I want this video to get to 10 minutes. And also because you're probably interested in it. As I've already announced, Bamford unfortunately didn't win the golden boot. Because of me having to replay the games where he scored 7 goals in. And him not scoring as many goals. Because Bamford in the simulations isn't as good as Bamford being controlled by Quacky Boy here. But... I want to know, I'll say it right now, so listen clearly, ears on boys, thinking caps at the ready. We have £170 million to spend. You've seen the team, you can see how they're developing. Who are we going for lads? Let me know what players are going to help us on our march 
to the Champions League. There could be one season left in this series. I want to know who you want to see. Because as I always say, you just got to get me there. So if you get me to a Champions League final, boys and girls, you know that trophy's coming back to North London. Oh god, now they're going to tell me to send back in Fenwell and write some League 2 players. Just give a, give a guy a break, yeah? Let me know some good players to sign. Don't give me some waste men. Anyway, boys and girls, there is not long left in the video. There's about a minute left. As I said, let me know in the comments, who should I sign? For now, though, it has been an absolute pleasure bringing you all this series. If you could smash all of those buttons, maybe not the one with the thumbs down, down below. I will love you long time. But for now, you have been the lovely ist of audiences i have been the qtv emphasis on the qt because actually just quickly it said sign one young player i signed like 50 of them at dme desk but you know i guess i didn't sign a young player fair enough but seriously have a great day lads peace